Now the MO diagram for H2O. So uh, this actually we're coming in with two H's. So it could be in this regard, they're both the same phase, or it could be in this regard where they're both opposite phases. But still they're S orbitals. There's two of them, so two S. So I'm going to draw two lines for two S orbitals, one electron in each. So each is bringing in one electron their degenerate or equal energy levels. And then we've got on the other side the oxygen with P orbitals. Three P orbitals, it's a 2S2, 2P4. So here's O for oxygen. There's three P orbitals. There they are. And now we gotta think, okay, how will these go together in a way? We already know that H2O is bent. So we're going to use that knowledge. We're not going to do a wall diagram or anything like that. We're just going to use the knowledge that it's bent and see how, how to draw this out. Okay, well, if we take this and two in the same phase at a bent sort of angle as such, and let's just make everything shaded, then that would be totally bonding, full overlap. No nodes right there low energy, okay? Uh, the opposite would be up here, where uh, in this case you'd have two nodes, here and here. Okay, now uh, let's take, the other one that could interact well is this one, right here, this P orbital, with this uh, set of atomic orbitals. So I'll just draw it on this side. Something that looks like that. I'll draw the opposite up here. And I'm actually going to draw this at a higher energy up here because of the number of nodes, one, two, three, versus two. Uh, and this having no nose versus one right there in the middle for the area of the bonding. Uh, you'll notice that leaves one person out, uh, and that would be this one right here, this P orbital. Uh, so we'll just draw it as a non-bonding orbital, like this, because it's equally going to interact with both regardless of what it is, so it's just going to come straight over like this. So. On our dashes, like that. Now I want to fill in the electrons. There's two here and four uh, on the other side, so I'm going to fill in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's the MO diagram for water.